Hey there, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, and I'm here chatting with the lovely Emily Marquis. We're just getting to know each other a little bit as she is a relatively new member to Women of Denver, and I'm excited to give her an opportunity to share a little bit about herself and tell us about the work she's doing. So Emily, tell us a little bit about your business journey. So I am a certified clinical health and wellness coach. Uh, I was first in my, in my journey, I was worked in human resources for a long time, hiring and unfortunately firing and seeing people and really took a notice on how people's well-being impacted them at work. So about 10 years ago, I started my own private practice and health and wellness coaching, and it's really gaining notoriety now. Um, and so that's been my journey. And, and here I am today, and I work with clients on helping them and their overall well-being. And that can mean a lot of different things. I partner with clinicians and employers as well. Awesome. Yeah. Health coaching is so valuable. I think people don't, it's such a new field. I think people don't necessarily always know what it is or what it means. It's like, okay, well, how do you put someone on their health? But I know for me, it was impactful because I was able to fix some things that were chopping me through health coaching. And it's just, it's a really great, um, it's a really great practice. So, yes. And it's, it's very broad. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. So tell me a little bit about what's going on in your world of health and health and wellness and coaching right now. What are you observing? What are you kind of, are you getting questions on a regular basis or seeing things that people are, um, are regularly dealing with a lot? Yeah. So I think COVID has put so many things into perspective, both individually and from an employer standpoint. So, um, things are popping up. Sleep is an issue. Stress and burnout is an issue. And then habits that we maybe latched onto during COVID, like that weren't the healthiest because we didn't know what to do. We were isolated. I know some pants have gotten much tighter. So um, I see a range of things and people though are really just drawing awareness. I don't want to feel this way anymore. And I need some help in getting there. I know I can get there. Um, and in the industry overall, as you said, I think people are, are the profession is being notoriety. So we're getting clinicians on board. Health coaching is becoming a part of um, benefits or clinical practices. So hopefully it's becoming prioritized, not just in reaction, but in prevention too. I know a lot of people who have taken COVID or a family member has passed away or gotten a big diagnosis and they say, I don't want that to continue for me. So people are really just taking a step back and saying, what can we do together? And, and how can, and then fortunately we had now have coaches to be able to help. Yeah, that's a big deal. You mentioned the extra pounds. I was like last year, I don't even know. I stopped counting. So there's <laughs> so many. Yeah. But when you change your lifestyle so drastically, I mean, I was out all the time going to events. I was um, regularly out walking downtown and moving from place to place. And all of that ended. And I realized I looked at my, um, my step counts on my oh, yeah. watch and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing half. Because I was wondering, I said, how the heck am I this much bigger and then I realized, oh, because I'm doing literally half the movement that I was previously. So my husband bought me a treadmill. <laughs> oh yeah. So many, so many of our outlets were taken away from us socially and um, act like activity wise. And oh my gosh. Yeah. The Fitbit, I lowered my steps because I was like, this is just not going to happen. I hear a lot of people you know, the amount of water that they drank just because there's no reason to get up and go get it anymore. So just simple things like that have such an impact on us. Yeah. So definitely great to focus on those, those uh, transitions and getting us back on track, especially as we start reopening some. So tell me about one of your, um, and just to preface this, I think talking about accomplishments helps people to really understand who you are and how you've made an impact. I think it's one of the best things. Like if, if it wasn't a faux pas to go brag about yourself, if we could all introduce ourselves by our latest. Accomplishment, <laughs> yes. I think we'd make better connections and people would be better able to 
know each other and what you do well and and be able to make referrals and connections and all that kind of thing so I know everybody hates most people hate bragging about themselves but I would love for you to share one or two recent accomplishments that you're proud of and they can be big or small Okay. Well, all of my client success stories are an accomplishment because I just love being able to help people. So I could go off for hours just on other people's successes that I've seen. But personally, um, normally it is hard to to brag about myself, but um, I've just had two big accomplishments. So because the field is new, there is a governing body now of a board in the, the clinical field uh, that is just recent. So I just passed my board exams, which is really big for coaching. And I just graduated with my master's degree in health and wellness coaching. And there's only a handful of programs out there right now. So um, I'm going to chalk that one off to a couple of huge accomplishments as a mom during COVID getting through that. So both personally, that was a huge accomplishment, but also that really allows me to, to serve so many people and um, hold that high credential to, to help the, the profession itself move forward. So those are some accomplishments I'm pretty excited about right now. Yeah, that's massive. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. So before we before we leave off our chat, I'd love to know. So you just recently joined um, Women of Denver through one of our one of our sponsors did a really amazing giveaway, the Revere team of Keller Williams uh, Real Estate. And yes. um, I'd love to know the thing that you're most excited about getting involved with. Well, Women of Denver is something I've been watching for a couple of years and with everything else I had going on, um, it wasn't the right time for me to join. So the, everything aligned in the timing and the, the sweepstakes. And so I'm really excited because I know some other women. And so as an entrepreneur, um, you can sometimes get siloed in your own head. And so I'm already signed up for all the events to network with people, to bounce ideas off on marketing or challenges or just strategy sessions and just to get to know other people so I can get out of my own head and and open up my ideas and 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 see what else other people are doing just in, in a like-minded way. Awesome. I'm excited to have you. Yeah, that's the one thing that um I've had moments where I'm just stuck and I can't figure something out and it's been people, especially the ones that there's a lot of people that have been in business for a lot longer than me. And so yes. they'll give me really rational <laughs> answers yes. to that I'm trying to figure out or help me to just understand that something is normal that I'm struggling with. And I'm going, how did this happen to me? How did I make this mistake? And they say, um, we all do. So just think. Right. <laughs> yes. You can only Google how to do this and yeah. then go down a black hole so many times in a week. <laughs> so it's nice to talk to, to other people. Yeah. Awesome. So tell people how they can keep in touch with you. How can they find you, work with you, get to know you? So the easiest way is through my website. It's emilymarquis.com. It's emilymarquis.com. And you can find me there. Um, I'm on LinkedIn. You can give me a call at 720-862-4756. Um, all my contact information is on my website. And so I'm very open to connecting and and answering questions um, and connecting with people and practitioners or partners in different ways. Thank you so much. Bye.